Hey guys, welcome back. It's Two Brothers Off Script. I'm Jerry. I'm Ryan. And this is a five minute movie review on Baywatch. So we just got done watching a hilarious movie. It was. Uh, it's rated R. It's not appropriate for all ages. Not appropriate for most ages under, uh, well, I guess there's more ages over like 18 than the not. Mo the most inappropriate ages would enjoy it the most, but. Um, it was really funny. They had nonstop humor in this one, despite the fact that they were trying to convey a serious topic of uh, taking down the bad guy. And it it was so funny at times that I had to stop the movie. Yeah, you it. stopped breathing. Was, there was a point where he stopped breathing. He was laughing so hard. It just gets to me in, the, in the, the juvenile way. Like, I really feel that this movie comes across really well with the story um, of just being lifeguards that need to take down the bad guy but it's the the multi-layered um yeah it just keeps going there's a joke in a joke in a joke in a joke it's not like the not original baywatch tv show was an action show right yeah. it was a drama yeah. show with women in swimsuits that was supposed to be entertaining right this was comedy all the way through yes there was they no part where you were fun of the fact that Baywatch was supposed to be serious, but they were also doing some of the serious elements. Yeah. So it was a it was a well rounded movie, and I'm going to give it um, two thumbs up. There was no the the major drawbacks were plot holes leaving people out and then bringing them back in and then like they're just there to prove a point like yeah the the tech guy who died um it's it doesn't make sense they spoilers they could have <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet well why are you watching a review on it? whatever the point is that's why i refer to him as only the tech guy but there is no there's no introduction for some of the characters there's uh a lot of just blanks you're you're left to yeah that's probably figure biggest, it out on your own biggest so, issue and then they don't really resolve it it's just a move the needle kind of situation we need to move on to the next point all right well kill that guy i think one of the challenges was like when you look at it, it it's a very funny movie it's a very enjoyable movie we laugh the entire time i think one of the challenges was for some of the characters who are not supposed to be comic they cast comic characters Right, and so I think I think uh, the challenge with that is you're not sure. I think sometimes with the comedy, like there's this element, like, well, we need to cast comedians for every part. Not necessary. I right. think they could have been a little bit more serious with some of the casting choices. Not that it would have drastically changed things, but I think they could have been a little better done. Well, right? I mean, the rocks in it, and he. He he's did, he's he did really Central funny. Intelligence. Have you seen that movie? Hilarious. All right. It's a great movie. Kevin Hart. But he plays a pretty straight role in that entire movie. And Kevin Hart's the reactionary sure. character that's going off. And that makes a lot of sense. But he was, he was, I mean, I thought he was kind of a straight character this time. He tells jokes, but he doesn't really laugh at his jokes, right? Whereas right. Zac Efron is the comic relief. Yeah. He is the butt of every joke. The butt of every joke, and he is uh, incompetent, and he's flawed as a character, you know, and he's, he's vulnerable. The dumb guy trying to make right, yeah, and uh, trying to still get the girl and all that stuff. So it was there. There were some surprises. There was things that never would have happened in reality, and there was many times when you thought it was going to go one way, and it went a different way. Um, and they had some good callbacks to the original series. You know, they just they mentioned some stuff in passing about plots or references cases to or old, references to old episodes. Yeah, Hasselhoff yeah. makes a cameo. Pamela Anderson makes a cameo. It's you know, it was a really fun movie. So I'll give it two two thumbs up as well. I enjoyed it. Don't watch it if you're not. A fan of potty humor because it's full it's of it. full of potty humor, full of language, but so, it was hilarious. Yep. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, 
We'll see you on the next one. Bye.